Woman charged in scheme to steal over 1,000 luxury clothing items worth $800,000. The very first thing I pictured was nothing but rows and rows of black leggings and animal printed yoga pants. How much you want to bet she stole all those clothes and still told her man she has nothing to wear? A Michigan woman faces multiple fraud charges in connection to a scheme to steal over $800,000 in luxury clothing and goods from rental websites to resell online. Federal prosecutors announced on Wednesday the Department of Justice said Brandoline Horn. Brandoline? Really? 42 was arrested. That name is criminal by itself on Wednesday in Freeland, Michigan, and faces mail fraud, wire fraud, and interstate transportation of stolen property charges as alleged Brandoline Horn perpetrated a lucrative scheme in which she defrauded at least three victim companies, stole hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of luxury and designer items, and then sold these stolen items online. Thanks to the work of the prosecutors and investigators of my office, Horn now faces criminal federal charges for alleged deceptive behavior and fraudulent activity, U.S. Attorney Damian Williams said. I know she wasn't using her own personal website to sell this stolen merchandise like a Wix or a GoDaddy or something like that. There had to be a Poshmark, an eBay, a Pinterest, and definitely a Facebook marketplace. A woman was selling human body parts on Facebook marketplace. It's the new Grand Bazaar, a few pieces of stolen clothes and should move like trap house work. Federal prosecutors accuse Horn of opening hundreds of accounts with at least three subscription-based clothing rental companies and defrauding them. They named her Brandoline. What else was there to do but crime? According to a federal complaint from at least April 2022 through February 2024, Horn did not return pieces, sometimes worth thousands of dollars from the companies, and then sold them on an e-commerce marketplace. Horn is alleged to have stolen over 1,000 items valued at over 823 thousand dollars from companies and sold over seven hundred fifty thousand dollars worth of stolen items horns listings for the stolen items on the e-commerce marketplace they will not tell you the platform she was selling these clothes on often use the victim company's proprietary photographs and item descriptions that substantially match the descriptions used by the victim companies the complaint said the complaint said that despite attempts to charge horn for the items she avoided the bills by disputing charges with her credit union or canceling the credit and debit cards she used to rent the items what was her credit looking like in the beginning for them to let her get enough leeway to bend the system over the barrel like that just sign up for a bunch of accounts and then choose your primary method of payment as a bunch of prepaid money pack green dot cards when the companies would flag or close one of her accounts she opened new accounts so she could continue stealing and selling luxury and designer goods she got her hooks in them the complaint said if convicted horn could spend multiple years in federal prison it's a victim victimless crime. She probably won't. According to the Justice Department, the mail and wire fraud charges each carry a maximum sentence of 20 years and the interstate transportation of stolen property charge carries a maximum sentence of 10 years in prison. She'll probably do a little sprinkle of jail time, then they'll let her out so she can hurry up and start paying that damn money back. After all, it is a victimless crime unless you're one of the very unfortunate customers that has to go after her to set up an account for one of these spots that she defrauded. I know their policies are coochie crunch now.